This is 1.3 problem set in elementary algebra. Just to kind of go over what we're going to be doing here. Uh, let's start with 5. We're basically combining um, or adding numbers, positive and negative numbers. And remember, if the signs are different, you take the difference between the two numbers and put the sign of the largest number on it. So if you looked at number 10, the signs are different. Positive 6, negative 9. You're going to take the difference between 6 and 9 and get 3, and you're going to put a negative on it since the 9 is bigger than the 6. If the signs are the same, like on number 18, you just add those two numbers together, the 8 and the 6, and get 14, and stick a negative on it since they're both negative. 21 to 38 is the same thing, only you're going to refer back to your rule of operations, PEMDAS, in order to solve those. Make sure you do those in the correct order. You do the parentheses, the innermost parentheses first, and then do your exponents, which there are none, and then you do your um, multiplication and division from left and right, and then your addition and subtraction from left to right. 47 to 52, re recall that the word sum indicates word sum indicates addition. So sum is a plus sign, difference is a minus sign, product is multiplication, and quotient is division. Those are all answers to those kind of problems. So if they give you something like 48, and they say, it says write the numerical expression that is equivalent. So the sum of 6 and negative 3. They do not want you to do it. They just want you to do that. If it says sum, you know there's a plus sign. And what is the sum of? 6 and negative 3. So that's what you're going to do with that. If it says it's increased, like if you look at 52, the sum of negative 4 and negative 12. That's the sum of negative 4 and negative 12. What do they want you to do with that? They want you to take the whole thing and add 2 to it. So that's how you would do number 52. Um, you would continue on 53 to 58. Notice what they say there as far as using x as your unknown. So 54, 5 more than a number. 5 more than a number. What is the number? We don't know, so we're going to call it x. So that's all you're doing there is just writing out the expression um, using x for the number that you don't know. So 56, a number added to negative 6. Negative 6 plus a number. We don't know what that number is, so we'll just call it x. 59 to 62 shouldn't be too bad. 63 to 74 is just talking about your arithmetic sequences. And then you've got some story problems there, such as number 76. On Monday, a certain stock gains two points. So whatever that stock was, let's call it x. So on Monday it gained two points, so it was going to be x plus two. On Tuesday it lost three points, so whatever it was on Monday it lost three points. Write an expression using positive and negative numbers with addition to describe the situation. So we have x. This is what we started with. On Monday, it gained 2 points. So on Monday, we had x plus 2. On Tuesday, what we had on Monday, x plus 2, lost 3. So that's what it would look like. So whatever we gained on Monday, we lost 3 on uh, Tuesday, and that's what you'd give me for an answer. So that's it on going through the problem set on Lesson 1.3.